Undateable co-stars Brent Morin and Chris D'Elia face off in what might be the bloodiest lip sync battle yet. We'll talk to both of the stars and make it even more awkward. Lip sync battle pre-show starts now. <laughs> Oh, hey, welcome to Lip Sync Battle Pre-Show. I'm your host, Elliot Morgan. And I'm not. Today we have Chris D'Elia and Brent Morn, but before we dive any further into that, let's take a look at the previous battle in a little segment we like to call... Oh, uh, me? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. battle, battle Breakdown. Down. Why would you... Same time. Because it's me. Sounds cool. Michael Shannon took home the belt with his performance of It's the End of the World as We Know It by R.E.M., one of my personal favorite songs. Guys, let's take a look. Right out of the gate, he's taking bodies out of the debris, saving lives. He's a hero. He often plays a villain, but not today. Can we pause right here? The amount of intensity that it takes to really win. Look at that vein. Look at those yeah. neck this veins. Is good look here. at those neck I veins. Love it. Just completely committed. Really communicating that it is the end of the world as we know it but possibly the saddest prop of all time on the lip sync battle set. What happened here? Where is he? Where's the child? Someone needs to look for him. It is getting to be a dark world and all you can do is dance? We have funny guy Brent Morn versus funny guy Chris D'Elia. I sat down with Chris D'Elia. In a new segment we like to call, sitting down with Chris D'Elia. It's actually only gonna happen one time. Chris, how are you feeling heading into your very first lip sync battle? I feel good. I've, yeah. I've never done a, a lip sync battle. I don't even really lip sync, to be totally honest, even when I'm in the car. I don't even pretend to do that. So this is my, I'm, I'm coasting on the beginner's luck thing here. Did you get any kind of advice for the lip sync battle? Did anybody like give any points? No, I don't listen. I don't like to listen to people. I, I Ooh, like I to, love that. yeah. I just basically pretty much, uh, like sometimes people will give me advice and I'll be like, oh yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea. And I won't do it. Okay, so are you a little yeah. bit nervous? Do you feel like that happened? Uh, no, I feel like I'm gonna look like a fool and I just kind of feel that that's the point. Yeah, a little bit. And that's how I'm gonna win. Now, if you had any message for Brent, just to like really rattle his cage, what would you say directly to the camera? Brent Morin, I hope that you're actually wearing a, uh, enough makeup because honestly, I've, I'm on a show with him and he looks really bad most of the time. Okay, let's get into it. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, who do you think it's gonna be? Brent Morin. Uh, I know, I mean, to come out of the gate already like that, look, they're both funny men. They, they both are getting really into... You, okay, listen, you can't draw, they know each other, okay? They're very close friends. Yeah. You can't draw a dividing line. Sure. You have to make it sort of like a, could go either way. Okay. All right, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this again. Okay. Try it again, don't screw it up. Lee, who do you think is gonna win? It could go either way. Exactly, let's see what Brent had to say. All right guys, I'm here with Brent Moore, and Brent, how are you feeling heading into your very first lip sync battle? I feel, I gotta be honest, when I got here, I was delusional, I got confident. And then okay. when I went through the routines that we're trying to do together with the great people here at Lip Sync, mm -hmm. uh, I got a little insecure. Okay. Mainly because I couldn't stop sweating, just like now. Sure. I rehearsed about three hours ago, and I haven't stopped sweating. Let me ask you this, how are you feeling about going up against uh, Mr. D'Elia? Honestly, I'm not worried about Chris. I've known Chris 11 years, he only yeah. likes two things. It's coffee and comedy. He doesn't go out anywhere. He kind of ruins all his relationships. He got divorced when he was 26. I was there for that. It was his fault. Okay. What, uh, what do you think uh, D'Elia has that is intimidating? What D'Elia has is his body, and you'll notice this, it's a cartoon body. He has a very long torso and skinny legs and a giant head, and he's got hair to flip. So I think that this is his wheelhouse in the physical comedy game, because on stage, as, as a stand-up, he doesn't have a lot of substance. Sure. If you could say anything to Chris right now, directly to camera, and you can just start it by saying his name, just go ahead and just lay into him, what would you do? Chris D'Elia, I know you get mad when people call you Delia, okay? But your name's spelled weird, and that's the first problem in your life. The second problem is, you're getting fat. You're getting real fat, dude. You used to be physically fit, and now you're fat. It's gonna be okay. Wow. Brutal. He really went cutthroat on that one. Thank you so much for watching the Lip Sync Battle pre-show. I'm your host, Elliot Morgan. This is Lee Newton. Good luck to both Chris and Brent. I look forward to these performances. See you next time, everybody. Brent, take it home, man. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. You know how to do it. Come on. You got your little, your little fingers, little keypad. Take a username. You've seen movies. <laughs>